My name is Sandy Curran and I am first year lead instructor of the dental hygiene program at Portland Community College as well as the clinic coordinator for Portland Community College. What interested me personally in dental hygiene was just a, a, a love of teeth. I just think teeth are important. I was afraid of the dentist, um, but I, I loved having my teeth look better and not hurt. I was really nervous. I didn't, and I didn't have regular dental care. I didn't actually. I went to the dentist once as a third grader and had a tooth pulled, which was extremely traumatic. And I never went back until I was a senior in high school. And at that time, I spent every Saturday for many months in the dental chair getting lots and lots of work done because our family had no dental care. The hygienists today, they have the ability to go into areas and help service people who don't have access to dental care, much like I was as a child, but even more so today because there are so many people in Oregon and across the nation that don't have that access. So it's wonderful that Portland Community College <laughs> provides this kind of preparation for students and providing care for people of limited access to dental care. I love the science of dentistry. A lot of my students come to our programs for the same reason. They love the science, they love the kind of work, they love the fine motor skills that it takes. They love caring for patients. <laughs> the scrapey things. No, we don't call it scrapey things. They're called scalers. <laughs> and instruments, they're not tools, they're instruments. The different instruments that hygienists use, um, they all have different funny names. Gracies, universals, sickle scalers, um, probes, uh, explorers. Those are our general instruments. We also use cavitrons or ultrasonic scalers. So much of what goes on in our own mouths, we can't tell, we don't know. And even the tiniest little change is a big thing in the mouth. So you need someone to look in there. You need to have someone look and tell you what's, what's going on in there. And that's what the dental hygienist does, is they, they look and they, they inform the patients. And the simple things that are done is, number one, making sure that you're, everybody's brushing their teeth. Everyone brushes their teeth. But what they don't realize is that it's a very technique sensitive skill. And then what you can do is like a rolling, get it out of there. One way of brushing your teeth doesn't work for everyone. So we all need to be coached on what is the best way that I need to do that for my mouth. And that's very simple, isn't it? It is, it's very simple. And then of course, brushing only addresses 60% of the tooth surfaces. So that leaves 40% more of the tooth surfaces that are not being addressed by brushing. That's where flossing comes People in. People don't do well back here, but you're doing a really good job. So the only thing I would say is if you could start flossing. So there's a lot of different things, um, you know, just the simple things, brushing and flossing. When they're done correctly, wonderful but the other factor is we do need to have regular checkups to watch when what there's changes changes down that slippery slope from health to disease so that we can catch things early and stop them right there so that's then and a hygienist can do that normally people don't come to the dentist until they're in pain and at that point it's very very late in the game Disease doesn't hurt until it's become acute. And most people deal with chronic disease in their mouth. And so the hygienist can help intervene and stop that decline.